Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name's Tyrone and this video is specifically for all the box collectors or the card art collectors. Not sure what you call yourself, but um, I don't know. Cardboard collectors is the derogatory term, but uh, I'm not going to destroy this box, don't worry. Because I have everything in here. Um, but I did like the box so much I bought it and I'll keep it uh, not quite intact but um, opened but not thrown over my shoulder let's put it that way I'll very carefully open this like it's a bomb is that all that's holding it? I think so knife out of the way so I get to keep all my fingers as I say there is nothing new I think in this box. But look at the card art. Did we get a good look at the front of that? To me, that looks like the kind of artwork that Range Rover would produce to sell their Range Rovers, not Matchbox cars. That looks fantastic. I just had to get it. And uh, as I say, I will be keeping all of these in their boxes if I can. I oh, need my knife back. <laughs> My fingers aren't that um, dexterous. Oh, there you go. It's different, but the same. You can get them out without destroying anything else. But I already have them loose, so that's more convenient for everyone. So I'll plonk that there. For the first one is the Range Rover. Probably my favourite Matchbox Range Rover there is. Well, of course all these do have a moving part, hence the name Moving Parts. No variant on the Range Rover thankfully. We have enough variant issues within the collection. If you're a completist like me absolutely have to have the variants. The 2018 Land Rover Vogue. Uh, Vogue SE. Not sure what the SE signifies. It's uh, plastic wheels, but as we go, we'll find there are things with rubber wheels like this one in blue. That's the 65th anniversary one. Lovely. And then a grey one. Back to the plastic wheels. They look fantastic in a the lineup. They really do. Plastic wheels with the black. And back to rubber wheels with orange. And very easily openable bits. I don't know where he would go. Maybe there. Can you see those? Yes. Alright, let's shuffle these over to the side while we get to the next in our box. Our pristine unsmashed box. <laughs> the 32 Ford pickup in black. Um, very difficult to open those doors. I'm sure they'll keep giving us this casting, but uh, not the best, in my opinion, for an opening part idea. I think this was the first iteration. My memory of it is I was in Big W, Big w uh, which is Australia's version of Walmart, and uh, I finally found a whole stack of moving parts when I first become aware of them again um, and I bought a whole stack of them. I left many behind but um, I was walking towards the checkouts with this big smile on my face. Didn't realize I was looking so foolish until I caught the eye of a, a staff member and she looked at me like, oh no, it's one of those adult collectors. <laughs> but uh, did it stop me? No. I kept marching towards the checkout and purchased everything I had. <laughs> Blue. Nice. And uh, another rubber tyre version. Probably the best looking one. 32 Ford pickup. Hmm. Um, should we leave the stars out? Yes, we should. So that's what it's all about. A little Divco van. Uh, Skipper's shaved ice on this one. But we've had the Golf and many, many others. Or the one with the golf livery, shall I say. Um, another old favourite, the Frontera, our Xterra. Yes, 20, uh, 2000 Nissan or Nissan Xterra. 
this also had the Frontera, or maybe this is just a Frontera with another name, you know how they mix it up for different markets. Lots of gear in the back, backpacks, um, sleeping bags or ground blankets, whatever you want. That is a beauty. I hope they keep giving us that one. Um, same with this, this is a decent casting that they need to give us lots of colours in. But here we have the blue one, as featured in this box. It's the 2019 Ford Ranger. Can go next to the white one. And the sixth one in this box that will survive my studio is the big Chevy. It's a nice one, chrome base. It's the 63 Chevy C10. Hopefully that base didn't blind you too much. This one in gold. Nice. So a big shout out to the collectors of all things box or packaging in the Matchbox massive lineup. Um, yeah, I saw this. I knew I had them all, but um, I still bought it because the box is so presentable and uh, rugged. And the big bonus, I think, is uh, they come like that. Not those funny bow tie packets. So maybe that's the way forward. If you find a box like this and you know you need them all, it's fantastic card art all around. Try and get it without the glare. I love it. Not one over. I'll, I'll still rip everything open, mainly for the sake of, uh, well, firstly, my collection because I keep everything in uh, indexed drawers like a bit of a matchbox nerd. But uh, also, I love to um, rip them out as soon as I uh, buy them uh, so you can see them on camera and uh, I can roll them over in my hands and get a good old gawk at them. That's what it's all about for me. But uh, yeah, big shout out to the, the Matchbox packaging collectors. There's packaging collectors through Hot Wheels and Auto Art and all the rest of it too. Um, I get it, but uh, I'm not one of them. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.